Hello Art Club! For our project today, we are going to be creating a painting. So from your art kit, you will need a white canvas board that I put in there for you. It's covered in plastic, so you need to make sure to take that plastic off. You'll also need the paint strip that I put in for you and your paint brush. It would also be helpful for you to have a cup of water and a paper towel or something to dry your brush off on once you wash off the colors. So the prompt I have for you today is to create a painting that is abstract. Remember that uses shapes, colors, and lines, not pictures that we could name like a house or a person. And we are going to create an abstract painting that represents some sort of feeling or emotion. And this doesn't have to be an emotion that you can name, like happy or sad. Maybe this is a feeling you have um, every year on your birthday. How does that feel to you? Or how does the first day of school feel? Maybe what does it feel like to wake up Saturday morning and know that you have the weekend without school? So we can use those more nameable emotions like joyful, angry, scared, or we can use emotions that are a little more abstract and hard to name, like how it feels to know you're going on vacation or how it feels to get a hug from somebody you love. So the emotion I chose is how it feels every year when I go to the beach to wake up and walk on the sand in the morning before while the sun is coming up. So I've already started that painting, but I'm gonna show you how to get started on yours. So the first thing you wanna do is choose a color that represents that feeling to you. So for me, morning is very calm and peaceful and I think of blue. And then I'm gonna create a shape that sort of reminds me of that experience or that feeling. So for me, it's sort of waves, but more calm not like stormy waves, but very slow moving waves that come up to the shore. Another shape that might feel like the beach in the morning time could be things that represent sort of the sun coming up. So maybe Some orange to do sort of these horizontal lines. I'm using yellow. I can create sort of an idea of a sun. Remember, we're not trying to create an actual picture. We're just sort of using what's in our mind and making shapes to represent that. So we're not painting the real thing. I'm not painting a scene of the beach in the morning. I'm just painting objects or shapes that make me feel the way it feels to be on the beach in the morning. So I'm gonna continue this process. I feel like circles represent just that calm, close feeling of being alone in the morning on the beach. I'll mix some blue in with that. and then continue filling up my paper with different shapes that represent that feeling. So I'm gonna show you the one I've done on my canvas. This one I think captures more of the excitement of the day ahead. So I still have these calm kind of reflective colors that I would feel if I were watching the water in the morning. This is supposed to represent sort of the sunrise and all the excitement that I'm expecting from the day on a beach. This also represents the sun reflecting on the water as it comes up some clouds that make their way into the sky or clearing up after the night. And I can continue adding to this different things on top of my paint. Now that this is dry, I could add some shapes that maybe think maybe maybe make me think of dolphins. We always see dolphins in the morning. So maybe some triangles. And continue to fill up your canvas until you feel like it represents the feeling you are trying to show or express to whoever is looking at your work of art. So think about the different shapes, lines, textures, colors you can use to capture your emotion. Maybe if you're trying to create an emotion that is scary or sad, you would use very different colors from an emotion that's joyful or happy. 
So you can let this dry and then go back on top some of these, of these bigger shapes and add more details. You can also use Sharpie on top of this to help make it more precise and add really tiny details. But the goal is to fill up your canvas using different shapes, lines, and colors to represent some sort of feeling or emotion that you have felt in your life. I hope you have a good time. And if you think about it, send a picture or bring it to school so I can see what you've made.